Hey there, it's Amelia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to search for and organize your designs in Canva using folders. And before I begin, if you find this video helpful, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get right to it. From the Canva dashboard, as you can see, recent designs displays and can quickly accumulate to quite a few designs if you've been creating and using Canva for quite a while. If you're looking for a design that you recently created, it's easy enough to look at the recent designs, which are at the very top of recent designs. You can also search your content using the search box and making sure that your project is selected. Now, some of the features that I'm showing you in this lesson are somewhat limited in the free version of Canva. It's always helpful to name your design something specific and easy to search for later. If you save all your Facebook posts as just Facebook post one, two, three, it's not gonna be easy to search for those later. So instead you wanna give your designs a unique name, but also maybe incorporate the type of design. So for example, this recently created YouTube thumbnail has not been named yet, and it's easy enough to rename it right from the dashboard. All you have to do is hover over where it says unnamed design, click on the pencil, and you'll be able to type in a new name. Now, this is a YouTube thumbnail, but I wanna be able to also find it if I search for business talk. And if you like, you can even incorporate the person who's giving the talk as well. Now, when I search, if I type in business talk, you'll see that it will quickly find that particular thumbnail based on the name of the design. However, if you're searching for a design that you've created three months ago, six months ago, or a year ago, it's going to take you a lot longer to look through recent designs. So instead, let's explore the Your Projects option on the left pane. Now in February, 2022, Canva, which is constantly improving their interface, has combined the all your designs and all your folders into your projects. Your projects has one row of your recent designs and then below there, you could filter and see folders, designs, images, and videos. Now we're gonna focus on folders, and I'm also gonna show you how to delete unwanted designs, create new folders, and move designs into specific folders. To delete a design, with the design showing here, you click on the ellipsis and select move to trash. Once you move an item to trash, you can recover it by going to trash and then clicking the ellipsis and clicking restore. You can also delete it permanently. Back on your projects, I'll click folders and you could see that I've already created several folders for some of my designs. In addition, there are some other folders like purchased which is empty right now, but this folder is for any items purchased with a multi-use or extended license. The starred folder is for any designs that you've starred as your favorites. Now it's easy to star any designs and it's really helpful to do so because there's so many designs and templates, it's hard to find one that you noticed last week or last month. So to start a design, if you do find a design you like, but you're not ready to use it right now, all you have to do is click the ellipsis and then click star. Let's go ahead and star a couple others, such as this one. And we'll star one more. Now, when I return to the starred items, you could see that the three designs that I've just set up as starred favorites are now in my starred folder. 
also in your folders or any uploaded designs as well. Now, if your folder name is lengthy, click on the ellipsis and you'll be able to see the full folder name. I've created several folders here. And if there's too many to show, you can click show more to see additional folders. You could see the number of items in the folder. And if you click on the ellipsis, you'll have more options such as rename, move, share, or delete. If you click on a folder, you could see the contents of the folder. Next, let's review how to create new folders and move designs into folders. Back on the Your Project screen, on the right, the plus sign will allow you to add new folders as well as upload. I also wanted to mention that there is a view as list on the upper right, which allows you to view in list display versus thumbnails. I'll click on the plus sign and select folder. And next you want to enter a folder name. I'm just going to call this holiday graphics. And if you're on a team of multiple people, you can also enter a name or an email if you're sharing that folder with someone else. Next, click create folder. And now let's move some designs into the new holiday graphics folder. You want to click on the designs tab here. And what you'll notice is in this particular area, you'll see a checkbox if you hover over the design. Now this feature is only available in this section. So if you notice, you don't see the little checkbox up in here. Before I move multiple graphics into a folder, I see some uh, tidying up that I have to do. If you ever start a design and you exit, it will save it as a blank unnamed design. So I want to select all my empty unneeded designs here and move them to the trash folder. Once selected, I can just click on the trash can down here to delete them. Confirm with delete. And once your items are moved to the trash can, I wanted to mention that they will remain there for 30 days in case you have to recover them. Next, let's go ahead and select some graphics to move into the holiday graphics folder. Okay, so I see some Valentine graphics here that I'll select. Some other holiday graphics here. Okay, so I've selected a number of graphics and now I want to move them to the folder so at the bottom center, click on the little folder icon to move to folder. From the move to folder dialog box, you can click this right bracket to view all folders in alphabetical order, select the folder, and then click move here. Or you can use this search box to search for a specific folder. Let's go ahead and search for the recently created new folder. And I'll just type in holiday, click on the holiday graphics folder and click move to folder. Now I'll select folders and click on the holiday graphics folder. And you can see that all the items have now been moved to that folder. You can also move individual designs if you like by just clicking on an ellipsis. Now this is available not only in the designs tab, but also in your recent designs and from your home page. You could click on the ellipsis and then select move to folder and proceed with the same steps to move to an existing folder we can also click create new to create a new folder here as well.
just type the name of the new folder and select add to new folder. I also wanted to mention that the free version of Canva allows you to create two new folders, but Canva Pro, as well as Canva Enterprise, Canva for Education, and Canva for Nonprofits allows you to create unlimited folders. Finally, I wanted to show you the different licenses available in Canva. So here's the different plans. I currently have the Pro version and I absolutely love it. And again, Definitely start with the free and see that might suffice for you. I needed the pro because I needed to be able to quickly find pictures, graphics, and videos that I needed. And then you don't have to pay for them um, a la carte. So that's it for today's video. As always, if you found this helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Check out the description for additional information on Canva resources, as well as my Canva course to make the most out of Canva. Bye now.